appeared on Conan and has a half hour special on Comedy Central. Please give it up for my friend, Mark Norman. Hey, hey, good to be here. San Fran, what a town. Oh wait, you guys hate that. Sorry, shit. All right, it's good to be here in Oakland. Yeah. I, uh, I went to the march the other day, the Lady March. That was fun. Yeah, very special day. I haven't heard the word pussy yelled that much since I rollerbladed to high school that one time. <laughs> yeah. Good times. I've been on a couple of those things. I went to the Gay Pride Parade uh, a couple months ago. That's fun. I have, a, I have a friend who I'm pretty sure he's gay, but he won't admit it. Does anyone know a guy like that? And you're like, come on, you're gay. Just tell me we're friends. The most I can get out of them is they'll say, well, I experimented in college. And I'm like, yeah, but you went to college online. <laughs> Not sure what that means exactly. You know, I, I went to college online too. It takes like 20 minutes a week. So really, I think you are gay and you experimented with college. <laughs> Homophobia, that's a weird one, honey. Huh? Homophobes here? <laughs> I uh, did some shows in Boston recently. I was talking to this guy after the show, talking about a friend of mine who's gay. This guy goes, you have a gay friend? I wouldn't even shake a gay man's hand. I was like, Jesus Christ, why not? He goes, you know how many dicks are on that hand? I was like, well, you shook my hand. Are you okay with my dick? Because uh, there's a lot of interaction between the two, all right? Yeah. Wow, that is terrible logic. You know who else touches a lot of dicks? Women. <laughs> Yeah, man, they put them all over. You're screwed. <laughs> I think homophobia can actually be kind of dangerous, you know? A friend of mine, he's kind of a tough guy. He went skydiving recently. He's like, yeah, I'm not strapping some guy to my back that's fucking gay. <laughs> now he's dead. <laughs> I'm not gay. Do like the ladies. Big fan of the old labia. Yeah, yeah. Um, but gay guys are the best. You know, they're nothing but perks. They're nonviolent. They fix up neighborhoods, and they're generally smart people. You never really meet an ignorant gay guy. Now, you never meet a gay guy who's like, I only love three things my truck, my gun, and dick. <laughs> you never hear that, you know? I had a guy say to me once, hey, Mark, you like gays so much. What if you had a gay son? I wouldn't mind having a gay son. Having a gay son's like finding a french fry in your onion rings. You know, you're like, well, it's not what I expected, but I like these too. <laughs> yeah, hey. But yeah, the gals. Mm. Gals are fun. I always say the wrong thing with girls. That's my problem. I had a, I had a first date last week. It's going pretty well. Right when I sat down, she goes, hey, I bet we'd have really cute kids. When I went, hey, I bet we'd have great sex. And she goes, whoa, slow down. <laughs> I was like, slow down. You're nine months ahead of me. <laughs> She's like, I hope you don't think we're having sex. I'm like, I hope you don't think we're having kids. Good Lord. Uh, sometimes you get lucky. I had a one-night stand recently. That went pretty well. I, I wore a condom. She was on the pill. During the sex, she kept yelling out, oh, baby, oh, baby. said, oh, baby, like 800 times. So I yelled out, gonorrhea. And she was like, what the hell are you doing? I was like, oh, I thought we were just yelling out shit we don't want. Weird how we yell out baby. How did baby slip through as like a sexy term? Baby, how'd that get in there, you know? Because you can't be like, ah, toddler. <laughs> <laughs> Same exact thing, yet yeah, one is completely inappropriate, right? We should be saying consensual adult, ah! <laughs> yeah, so you gals are just kind of a tough, tough nut to crack because you're all different. Like some girls like a nice guy, some girls like jerks, so how do you know? What I do, I do both. I see an attractive lady, I open the door for her, and I say, after you, fatty. <laughs> Mix it up, cover your bases, you know? Hmm. I've never paid for sex. Anybody ever pay for it? Wow, all right, yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong for paying for sex, creepy guy. I really don't, you know? Uh, Sex is just a need like anything else. Why is that the one need we have where it's frowned upon if you pay for it, you know? We don't do that with any other needs. You know, no one's ever like, ah, oh, come on, man. You paid for those groceries? You're a young guy. You should be farming. Get out there. Plant some seeds. 
I tend to meet girls at bars. That's my move. I notice there's a lot of girls at the bars these days flirting with guys just for the free drinks, you know? They're not going to put out, but they want those drinks. Pretty good move. Makes you wonder, you think there's ever been any smart kids out there who would flirt with pedophiles just for the candy? <laughs> now you're like, hey, Timmy, don't talk to that guy. He's a child molester. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, gotta get these Skittles somehow. You know? Boy, it's gotta be tough to be a pedophile now. Kids, kids are so grown up, they're like little adults. They got their own jobs and they got briefcases and shit, you know? It's gotta be tough to be a pedophile now. And now a pedophile's like, hey kid, need a ride home in my van? The kid's like, no, I'll just Uber. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, you know? I'm not a religious guy. Anybody here like really religious? All right, well, I'm gonna shit on it. Um, yeah, religion. I, I actually went to Catholic school for six years, six years, yeah. Anybody else? Oh, yeah, 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 you were molested. Yeah, yeah, all right. Six years, yeah, it's the weird thing. I went in a believer, I graduated an atheist. What does that say about the school system, you know? That's the thing about religion, the more you learn about it, the less you believe in it. It's kind of like your parents. You know, at first you're like, wow, these people are amazing. They know everything. Then a little time goes by, you're like, these drunks are just making up as they go along. <laughs> now, I've noticed a lot of people believe in God, yet nobody believes in magic. I find that interesting. Aren't they kind of similar? You know, you believe in magic, people call you an idiot. You're like, well, what if the whole water and the wine thing? That was kind of like magic. And they always say, yeah, but shut up. <laughs> I like magic. I have way more respect for magic than I do for religion. At least magicians back it up. Can you imagine if magicians did what priests did? Uh, Besides that, yeah. But you know, it'll be so much less fun. You know, magicians are like, all right, now to pull a rabbit out of a hat. And you're like, uh, I don't see a rabbit. You gotta believe there's a rabbit. <laughs> um, sorry, man, I just don't see it. Well, you're going to hell. <laughs> and that's religion. I think if I worship anything, it's religion. That's what I worship. I mean, if I worship anything, it's the internet. I love the internet. That's what I worship. Love that Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi everywhere now. Restaurants, coffee shop, dive bars. Never at a church, though. Never seen Wi-Fi at a church. Why is that? I think it's because no church wants to compete with invisible power that actually works. <laughs> church wants a guy in the back with a laptop faxing everything. That would ruin the whole sermon, you know? Guy's up there like, and then Noah brought two of our animal onto the ark. Some guy in the back's like, uh, according to Google, that's not possible. <laughs> Come on, let's be honest. Emails get answered, prayers don't. That's all I'm saying, you know? My whole life, been praying for a bigger penis? Nothing. Every day on my email, they're trying to help me with that. <laughs> all right. Mmm, good group. That joke doesn't always go over. All right, let's make it a little more comfortable in here, huh? Let's talk about race. Yeah. Racial stuff, always touchy, and I know I'm a... I'm a white guy, we got it pretty good on paper. Uh, the only thing that sucks about being white is we have to prove we're not racist all the time. That's exhausting. No other group really has to do that. You know, you never see a Puerto Rican guy like, I have plenty of Chinese friends. <laughs> we gotta prove it all the time, and it's a lot of work. I was at a bar once, this guy handed me a beer, I went, ah, gracias. This guy goes, you just saying gracias because I'm Guatemalan? I was like, ah, shit, I thought you were Mexican. <laughs> This guy goes, you don't have a lot of Hispanic friends, do you? I was like, no, I don't. I don't have a lot of white friends either. You want to rub it in? <laughs> right. Why do we always just jump right to racism? You know, I'm not prejudiced. I'm not racist. I'm just unpleasant to be around. <laughs> I love his, some Hispanic friends. Let's go with some black friends. I'm pretty lonely, you know? Sometimes I wish I was racist. I have somewhere to go. They have groups and meetings and shit, right? They got a clan, literally. They spelled it wrong, but they got one. <laughs> I have four black friends right now, which is uh, the best I've ever done. And... Um, all my black friends tell me I'm the whitest guy they know, which I'm not sure what that means. I guess because I say words like skedaddle. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I am super white. I think the whitest thing about me is the fact that after I get a haircut, I like to leave the barbershop. <laughs> yeah. Don't see the need for all the hanging around, you know? You don't do that at a dentist's office. Whew, there's a hell of a root canal. I'm going to sit in the lobby for four hours. Yeah. <laughs> and I know some people are like, hey, buddy, that's a stereotype. Well, they made three movies about it, so you figure it out. <laughs> Comedy's a good gig. I've had every bad job in the book. Busboy, furniture mover, used to be a janitor. That was a rough job. Mopping floors, cleaning bathrooms. Nobody looked me in the eye, nobody talked to me. I remember one time I was mopping the floor and a businessman slipped and he goes, Jesus man, if the floor is wet, you gotta put a sign down. I'm like, I'm mopping in front of you. <laughs> 
I am the sign, yeah? You know the little guy on the sign doing this? That's me, but in 3D. <laughs> then my boss chewed me out after. He's like, come on, Mark, what are you doing out there? I'm like, <laughs> I'm bopping. <laughs> It's like, where'd you learn how to mop? I'm like, I don't know, Fantasia? Who learns mopping, right? <laughs> yeah. Single guy, you know. Last girlfriend dumped me, said I wasn't manly enough for her. Not a manly guy. <whistles> that one hurt. I don't know when we're allowed to say stuff like that. Like, you know, at the time I liked her so much, I was like, I'll do anything you want. What do you do? Work out? Join the army? Hit you? Whatever you need, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> She was like, look, I just need a manlier guy. I was like, tell me what you want and I'll do it. She's like, all right, fine. I want a guy who will pay for everything, support me financially, always drive, always open the door for me, protect me. I'm like, let me stop you right there. Not a man. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord, of course you want to date that guy. That guy sounds amazing. I would date that guy, you know? <laughs> My friends would be like, hey, Mark, are you gay now? I'm like, hold on, you haven't met Jeff. <laughs> This guy's incredible. He already beat up my high school bully, paid off my student loans. We're getting lobster tonight. <laughs> uh, uh, this guy is great, but the sex is brutal. <laughs> brutal. Mm. Got to wear those condoms, sir. Yeah. Mm. A lot of people don't wear them. I hate those guys who complain about condoms. They're like, ah, oh, condoms. Like, come on. It's a layer of... Latex. You're not eating food with the wrapper on it. You're getting laid. Get over it. Right? <laughs> well, you just can't have anything between you and someone else. You know, his dad's like, hey, son, give me a hug. He's like, well, get that fucking shirt off, dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to go. I'm Kevin Hart. Thanks a lot. You guys were great. Thank you. Have a good night. Mark Norman, everybody.